What's going on everybody? This is Patrick from Porter's Unboxings as you know. Today guys I'm going to be filming my Q&A always after Smackdown and um, AEW Rampage. Dude, I, I was shocked last night. Karrion Cross returned. Triple H you're a god send. Oh my god, I could never be happier. I couldn't Yeah. Yeah, like I just said. Um, but guys, if you didn't see SmackDown, you missed a hell of an ending. That's all I have to say. Karrion Cross is back, attacking Drew McIntyre and confronting Roman Reigns. With um, the the hourglass, are we getting a triple threat with Carrion, Drew, and Roman at Clash of the Castle? I guess we just have to find out. So, guys, let's get into this Q and A. I have six questions, and. Five of them are from DJ Taz three sixteen. He wanted me to. To shout him out. So there you go, man. DJ Taz316. His link will be in the description down below. And go subscribe to him. And as I say, let's get started. So my first question is from my buddy Michael. What are your recent pickups? My aunt my aunt actually picked this up for me. Um for 50 cents. I got a Criminal Mind shirt. Um, this is one of my favorite shows. Um, this is Reed. Trust me, I am I am a doctor. So this is pretty cool. For, for, for 50 cents, you can't go wrong. So, the first question, DJ Taz 316 asked me, what are your thoughts on Vince's retirement? A long time coming, buddy. A long time coming. And, and what I mean about this, there is actually stuff you can watch on Monday Night Raw now. Triple H is re-signing everybody, hopefully, that got, f that got f fired in 2021. Well, besides Keith Lee and Adam Cole and all those people that over there in AEW, but Triple H. We ask you just for one thing. If Bray Wyatt is not done wrestling, and when he is done f f filming a movie, call him up. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. Yo, Bray Wyatt, what's up, man? Hey, um, as you heard, um, Vince retired. Yeah. It's sad, but also happy that now I get to run things. Uh, why don't we sign a um, a three-year contract with a bonus of twenty-five grand or something like that? Sure, Triple H, I'm on my way there. See, make the fiend great again, or just revamp his character. The fiend and the Firefly Funhouse were the best things on Raw in 2019. When Bray Wyatt returned. Oh, the best thing. We can actually watch Monday Night Raw now. There are no bad... I mean... He signed Bailey. Well, well, Bailey returned. And then, returning with her, they re... Triple H re-signed these two people, Dakota Kai and Io Shirai, or or as they call her now, Io Sky. Why? But yeah, this is great. Um, it's kind of surprising that Vince retired, like after all the allegations that. I didn't know at the time, so that was so, so. This is really surprising to me. So then, his next question is: 
What is your favorite WWE pay-per-view you own? Pay-per-view. I like the era from like 2003, 2002. I have um, S S S S S SummerSlam 2002. I got King of the Ring 2000 for six bucks from V-Stock. And guys, it comes with insert. What? For six bucks, dude. What a steal. But, th but this is not my favorite pay-per-view. Um, this would be... Um, let's see. Let's... Back in fall. Wouldn't matter. See that? It fell. Um, I found WrestleMania 18 for 10 bucks. And guys, 10 bucks. Guess what it comes with? The insert, baby. And not just any insert. Poster! Yeah! Buddy! Poster! Insert! Let's go! Let's go! Um, WrestleMania 22 is a good one as well. I got that for 8 bucks without the insert. I got Ju Judgment Day 2005 I enjoy... Um, speaking of non, non pay-per-views, I got Hard Knocks, A Chris Benoit Story for 10 bucks on my birthday one year. So for 10 bucks, and guess what? Comes with insert, baby. Yes. Yes, sir. This came out in 2004, dude. This came out in 2004. Um, just chilling on the shelves at V-Stock. Yep. And then I got this brand new. Um, Hell in the Cell, as you know. And, and it comes with an insert. So that's always great. And then probably, probably this is my favorite pay-per-view. Backlash 2004. I like um, Randy Orton versus Cactus Jack. Um, I have S S SummerSlam 2002. And I got this for 10 bucks. I got S SummerSlam 2002 for, for 15, I think. And then Survivor Series 2002. For eleven dollars, eleven dollars, guys. Guess what? It comes with insert. Comes with insert, but not just any insert. <clears throat> Poster insert. Yes, sir. Oh my god. And, and I got this for $11, as I just said. I, and I got this for 10 WrestleMania 20 Oh, look at that. Insert. And yes, guys, I did get the booklet. So um, it comes with the timeline. Always cool. So those are like most of my favorite DVDs. Um, I got um, a bunch of 2003s like right here, but you can't see them anyway. So why am I even showing you those? Um, WrestleMania 30 is a great one because of the Daniel Bryan storyline that they had going. 
always great stuff with that. Um, the next question is from him, from DJ Taz 316. Oops, not those. Um, in your in their prime, actually, I'm gonna skip that one for a minute. What's your favorite DX moment? Um, can it be like versus each other, or, or does it just have to be like DX? Because if it doesn't, um, 2002 was a great year for those two. Um, you had the the SummerSlam match, the Survivor Series, Elimination Chamber. And um, Royal Rumble 2004, I want to say, was for the world title. Yeah. And then Bad Blood. I love their feud, dude. I love it so much. And then, but DX. Two thousand four to two thousand six was kind of weird with the, with with the McMahon's and Big Show and the Spirit Squad. Ugh. But two thousand ten was just complete garbage. I'm sorry if you like 2009 to 2010. <coughs> that, that was for the kids moments and all that. But let's get to the next question. What's your... In their prime, who would win between Sting and The Undertaker? That is an awesome question. I, I've been waiting for this question. Now, if WrestleMania... 30, which was 2014. WrestleMania 31 was 2015. Now, Sting and The Undertaker were both there at 31. Bray Wyatt versus The Undertaker. Sting versus Triple H. Now, I have two guys who could have ended the streak. And his name is not Brock Lesnar. No way in hell. It would be Bray Wyatt, as as I always say in these videos, Bray Wyatt should have ended the streak or Sting. Now, Sting at 30 could have happened. I mean, could have happened. But it really could have happened at 31. Keep the streak alive after 30. Break it at 31. Just break it. It's time. The Undertaker can go off in the sunset. Awesome. Or you or you could have just broke it when Roman Reigns speared the Undertaker at 33. Ended the streak there. Do, do it that way. But who would win in their prime? Now, are we talking 2000 to 2010? Or... Wait, sorry. 2000 to 2000 what? 2012 13 Taker? And then Sting before he broke his neck? Or or after Sting when he's in AEW? We need to, we need to clarify on that. But if it's in. But if you're talking about 19, 19, WCW Sting through 2015 Sting, 31, if I would have booked that at 31, it might have been... Um, that's a hard one. Sting. No, 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 The Undertaker, because he had a great Hell in a Cell match against Triple H at 28. Now, if we're talking about 2009, 2010, so 25, 26, 27, 28, 
Take her, then take her all the way. Take her all the way. But if we're talking about 30... 30 through 33 for Undertaker? No, Sting. That's a hard... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Sting for his, his, his WWE run. If he faced Undertaker at 31... But if we're talking about Taker from 2009 through 2013, then Taker de definitely. But but if we get them now, like in AEW or Sting signs, like a one match contract with the, with, with with WWE, and if Undertaker somehow comes out of retirement. For one more match. Even though he had a hell of a good match with AJ Styles. Here. Guys, I enjoy this match. Let's just say it wasn't a great match. It was a good, okay match. But perfect for Undertaker's retirement. I mean, this is a great picture. Awesome picture. Um, yeah. So, I'm 50-50 so I'm on this. I mean, like I said, 25 through 29, or take her for sure. If he only retired at 33... And th there has to be a thing with this. Sting versus the biker kind of taker. This one, I guess. Uh, Undertaker. He would have to... Taker would have to wrestle with this. With this on. I will... Okay, the... Okay, the American Badass returns. If it happened at 36, Taker would... Would, would definitely win. But at 30... Three through thirty-four, sting all the way. So please, so put, so put down in the comments, sting or taker, right now, right now. Please put it down in the comments. But this, this is what taker could have wrestled in. Has to wrestle in if he's facing sting. So the last question is. What is your favorite Hardy Boys match? I decided to wear this on the, the occasion of this Q&A. Um, I like their 2009 stuff. Um, at WrestleMania 25 and Backlash 09 with the Extreme Rules match happening at WrestleMania 25 and the I Quit match happening ha the Extreme Rules match happening at WrestleMania 25 and the I Quit match happening at Backlash 09. But if I had to choose a Hardy Boy moment, it would... Two, two actually. It would be WrestleMania 17 in 2001 when Edge speared um, Jeff Hardy off the titles and off the ladder and all that. But my favorite Hardy Boy moment of all time would be WrestleMania 33 return in 2017. That crowd went absolutely bananas. Jumped out of their seat like... 
like when the New Day announced them, this is now going to be a fatal four-way match. And the fourth theme is, whoo, 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 whoo. And then the Hardy Boy music pops up and we're all jamming to it. And guys, if you want that Hardy story from, from 2018, you have to get WWE 24 on DVD because that story is the only reason why I bought that DVD. Let's be completely honest. Yeah, guys, but please, please put down in the comments these three things. What is your favorite Hardy Boys moment? What is your favorite DX moment? And what, and just a question. Who would win? Sting or The Undertaker? Please, please put all that down in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel. Guys, we're 255 subs, I believe. Yep, two two hundred and two hundred and fifty five subs. Um, guys, guess what? Another rant is coming your way. I just have to watch it on Peacock since I don't have this title on DVD, and I don't think I will ever get it on DVD. I hope one day I will, but possibly in my head I won't. But guys, it's a good it's a good one to rant on. So you guys just guess what am I gonna rant on? Um ho hopefully it will come out next week. But guys, this has been Patrick from Pores Unboxings. Please put your comment section please put your comments down in the section below. Just like I said, what do you guys think I'm gonna rant on? Guys, this has been Patrick from Pores Unboxings, and I hope you enjoyed this Q&A as much as I did. Please hit that subscribe button down below, and I'm out. Peace.